Hey, what's going on guys? I was Studios here for another video. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create a car paint material in Cinema 4D and Octane. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So we're gonna create shader C4D Octane Octane material. And we will just call this our uh, base. Uh, and we're gonna add a coat as well to the end. So base, as we're gonna make it a glossy for the index. You want an index of about 2.3, 2.2 to 2.3 are good values. Uh, I'm gonna grab a fall off and a gradient onto my input here, diffuse. Okay, <clears throat> so um, we will tweak this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start the render here and I'm gonna explain to you why we're doing the fall off and um, how we're gonna tweak it. Okay, let me just fire it up here, apply that to a car. So uh, actually maybe I'll get rid of the depth of field for now. Okay, there we go. So. Get rid of the depth of field. Okay, so essentially you can see here we've got um, we've got uh, white at the edges here, kind of. You know the diffuse is kind of white at the edges, um, and mm -hmm. it is black right here. So um, as you can see here, we we'll tweak this, the skew factor. When we increase that, it'll be more. You know, the whole thing will be black. If we decrease it, the more the whole thing will be white. So for now, you can see we've got a gradient where if we are looking straight at the car. You know, it's pretty black here, and then it goes whiter up here. So, um, we want, um, basically, we want when the angle, you know, we want the fall off to be, so when we're looking straight at the car, we want it to be, um, we want it to be a light. So, I'm going to choose a blue car, for example. So, um, you want it to be a light when you look at it closely. So, we're going to set um, first part of the gradient to be kind of light blue here. Okay. And then, uh, actually, maybe we can do the fall off even more here. Maybe a value of about four. I think we'll use a value of about four. And then um, <clears throat> for the end, we're going to use a darker blue, slightly different hue, and a darker version of that. A bit darker like that. I'll try to do an AB compare here. And I will show you essentially what's going on here. So, let's see here, if I just disable the, okay, maybe we can't do that. Um, here, if I just do this, you can see here, it's just kind of a, the color is just constant through the whole thing. Um, but if we do it this way, the color is the same, like right here, when, we look, when we're looking straight at it, you can see right here, the color is the same. But then at the edges there, it gets more dark, and that is um, realistic. So that is that. I'll drag that back there. So we have that. Um, now the next thing we're going to do, we want roughness. Uh, I'm going to grab a uh, float, and the roughness you want that to be quite low. Um, generally, like 0 0.01 is what I do. 0 0.015. You want pretty low roughness for car paint. Doesn't look too good. Maybe we'll do increase it just a bit there. Okay. Now um, we are going to go ahead and let's see here. We're going to add some flakes to this car. So flakes um, are essentially it's like when you look closely at a car paint in real life, it's not you know it's like a surface imperfection if you know what that is. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just gonna well you'll see here. I'll explain it to you uh, as I do it. So we're gonna load in the file. Um, into the normal here, shut that up, and flakes, and I will leave this um, as a download link in the description, <clears throat> this flakes file here, craft this here, if you look closely, you wouldn't use a couple of projection nodes here actually, projection and transform, projection and transform, and I want to go ahead and just transform. I want to bring down the scale quite a bit. Make sure the projections to box mode. Okay, there we go. Whoops. So I'll scale it down even more. <clears throat> and you can see here we've got kind of like um, the the surface is very. Um, it looks like it's got flakes on it, kind of so to speak. That's the name of it, right? Um, 
Now, obviously, this is way too, you know, the effect here is, is way too intense. It just looks really bad from a distance. So if we go ahead and actually um, decrease the strength of the normal, the power, I guess we can grab a float texture, plug it into the power here. If we decrease that quite a bit, you know, because we just want a bit of a subtle, you can see here, I, I will zoom up close. We've got a very subtle um, flakiness to it, but, you know, from a distance too, it doesn't look... Um, doesn't look like it's super noisy. Like obviously it's not, but it doesn't look like that. Um, that's that. Now you could leave it here, but I'm gonna add one last thing here. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that we have um, uh, first of all a mixed material, and let me show that we have another material here. Okay. So for the mixed material, we're gonna plug the two materials in, and essentially we're gonna add a metallic uh, coat to it. So I'm gonna stop the render here because it's lagging my PC. Um, Whoops, just like that, open this up, and we're going to just make it a glossy, and the index, we're just going to set that to uh, 1, increase the roughness a bit, and the specular, if you want to, you can tint it maybe a bit, a bit blue, you know, you can now use subtle blue tint, and you know, make sure you diffuse it set to black as well here, subtle blue tint. And the mix material, we will apply that. And for the mix material, we are going to uh, ensure that it is set to like 0. Point, whoops, 0. 0.85 or 0.9-ish. We'll try 0. 0.9 right now. Start the renderer here, and we will take a look at the result. So, <clears throat> whoops, let me just see here. Okay, so we've got, uh, I'll just compare here, show you with and without the coat. <clears throat> so store render buffer. And with just the base material. It's uh, just the base material. It's kind of, I wouldn't say bland, but it's like, it's not super, you know, we have that dull reflection, like the base. But then we look um, with the addition of a kind of metallic coat, makes it just gives it more, um, yeah, more reflectivity, more vibrance. It's basically what the coat does. Um, and that is pretty much it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys later. Bye.